Hello, Paul. Uh, Hello. Welcome in Ostend. Uh, been here before? I've been here many times, yeah. I mean, we did uh, WFest two years ago, but uh, of course we shot some of our locomotion video here in Ostend. So, uh, and we used to live in De Haan. Andy and I lived in De Haan near Bruges for, you know, four months or something. And, uh, and so we know this area really, really well. And there's like good... Okay. <laughs> There's good news. There's a new album coming. Uh, can you is. tell us something more uh, about the sound, maybe? Um, I think it's a natural uh, step from the Punishment to Luxury album. Um, it's still very electronic. Um, I think if you can put one thing to it that's different, maybe uh, I think we're, we're more more political on this album. Yeah than perhaps we have been in the past. Although we have touched on politics from, you know, anti-nuclear war songs like Enola Gay to yeah. to um, <coughs> to to Dazzle Ships, which is about the Cold War uh, with the Soviet Union. So um, so we have touched on it before, but I think we've been more overtly uh, political with this album because, you know, uh, maybe we're just getting grumpy and becoming grumpy old men now, but, but you know, <laughs> the thing is that there's so much going on in the world that you, you can't ignore it, really. Think, I mean, the, the r ridiculous idiocy of Brexit, you know, which was just insane. It was, it was, the, it was the, you know, British self-harming, you know, by, by en masse, you know. And, and of course, you know, everything that's going on in America, Trump, and, and all over Europe, you know, the move to the far right is, is concerning to us. So, so we're kind of talking about that, really, more overtly than we have done in the past. And where is the album recorded? Where? Uh, the, it was recorded in... I mean, the, the, the difference between this album and all the others was that it started in the pandemic and I was in France, where I had a holiday home in France, but I was stuck there because I couldn't move because of, of the restrictions because of the pandemic. And Andy was stuck in Liverpool and he couldn't come visit me. So usually with, the, with, with our albums, we, uh, we sit in one room, usually Andy's studio in Liverpool, and, uh, and then we batter around a whole load of ideas and then we take them away, both work on them separately and then we get back together and see what each other has done to the song and then change them. We couldn't do that with this album. So we had to send, you know, massive files to each other from, from France to Liverpool and Liverpool back to France. <coughs> Fortunately, I had a studio set up in the south of France. So, uh, Did you already play uh, songs live from the new no, album? No, we're, we're going to wait till next year before we start uh, playing songs live. I mean, at the moment, we haven't got... It would have been nice to play Bauhaus, Staircase, actually, but we haven't had time to rehearse because we've been so busy. Um, how do you look back to writing the first album of uh, OMD with a beautiful sound pretending to see the future? Oh, I love that song. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the first album was the culmination. It was basically everything we'd, had writ we'd written together the well the best of everything we Andy and I had written together to that point because you know we started writing songs when we were 15 and uh, yeah. and we were, were teenagers now. we were teenagers oh. yeah I mean electricity yeah, I was 15 Andy was 16 when we wrote that one so we were kids and um, and so the first album was basically everything good that we'd written to that point so um, uh, it, it's different now because <clears throat> You know, I mean, the technology is different. Uh, we're far more experienced. We're much better musicians, and um, but uh, we still got we still got something to say. So, you know, after all these years, we still feel like we have something to say. So we're we're going to keep saying it. But uh, this could possibly be our last album, but we don't know. We said that about the last album. <laughs> so. And uh, other memories about Belgium? I think Night of the Proms uh, with Simple Minds oh, together uh, singing I, Neon Nights. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we loved those Night of the Proms nights in Antwerp. Yeah. It was, they were just amazing, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yeah, they're, they're very fond memories. Yeah, playing with an orchestra was, was amazing. Yeah, really great fun. Okay, bring us back to the first idea to write a song made of Orleans. Uh, do yeah. you remember that first moment? Uh, yeah, I mean, it came out of us touring with, um, touring with, we had this, I can't remember the name of the band, but it was uh, this young new French band. Yeah. We were touring France and uh, they said, oh, every city we're going to is related to Joan of Arc. Do you realize that? And we went, oh, okay, ding, Joan of Arc. That's a good <laughs> subject matter. Um, we had the first, we had the Maid of Orleans, Joan of Arc Maid of Orleans first, and Andy didn't think it was any good. So he decided he wanted to write another one. 
So then we had two Joan of Arc, and we were going to, the Maid of Orleans wasn't going to go on the album, but I think it was Martin, our keyboard player. So what happened to that other Joan of Arc? I really liked that. And, and so we listened to it, and um, we said, oh, actually, maybe you're right. So we've got two Joan of Arcs now. <laughs> uh, do you remember the recording of the video clip? You were playing chess, and Andy was reading a book. Do, yeah? The beginning yeah. scene. I mean, that was an amazing day, actually, because, you know, it looked like we planned a video in the snow, you know. But just by chance, it snowed overnight, and we had this shooting the next day. And we woke up, opened the curtains, and went, wow, it's been snowing, it's going to look amazing with the horse, you know. So, uh, <laughs> but we were, we were working in, um, in the Manor Studios in Oxfordshire. Uh, that we were working on architecture morality at the time. So. It's a nice opening scene, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah, yeah. It was just luck. That was just pure luck. The last question for Andy. Where does Andy get uh, all this energy to dance on stage? Yeah, he sleeps all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's now sleeping. <laughs> He's sleeping, yeah. <laughs> But no, I mean, the thing is, we, we, we still love playing live. And um, we've always put masses of energy into our shows. And, uh, and we'll only keep going if we can maintain that energy. And uh, we're, you know, we don't get, we're not getting any younger, but um, but we still have mass masses of energy and enthusiasm. So, so as, as long as that continues, then we'll keep we'll keep doing it. Thanks for your time, Paul, and have a nice gig uh, this evening. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be fun as always. Oh, thank you. <coughs> okay. Cheers. <laughs>